you just shot a roll of film in black and white. And now it's time to get scientific. Like me, you're tired of bringing your film in to get developed and sometimes taking so long and so expensive. So it's time we take matters into our own hands. As a photographer, there's no better feeling than seeing an image that you shot and developed. So today, I'm going to teach you how to develop your own negatives in black and white. Developing your own film can seem intimidating at first. But once you learn the steps, it's nothing but fun. Before we get started, let's talk about the tools and chemicals I have here. To successfully develop your negatives, you need a reel for loading your film onto, a developing tank, developer, fixer, wetting agent, graduates for measuring, funnel, storage bottles for leftover solution, film clips to dry your negatives, a thermometer, and a stopwatch, or you can just use your phone. Step one, we want to load this film onto this reel in the total darkness. If this is your first time, sadly, you may want to sacrifice a roll of film to practice in the light. That way it's easier once the lights are off. But let me show you how to do it first. Once you get the hang of it, go into a dark room, and I mean pitch black, or get yourself an official changing bag to put your hands in. Also have on hand a pair of scissors to cut the film from the spool, and your tank to place your reel in. Okay, your turn. Come back when you're done. A few moments later. Did you do it? I'm so proud. Now let's head to the kitchen to figure out our measurements for our chemistry. Here I have measured out my developer. You should always check the bottle for the correct dilution and underneath your developing tank for the amount of chemistry that you need for your roll of film. I'm using Ilford's DDX developer and they suggest one part developer to four parts water at 68 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit to equal out to 300 milliliters of dilution for your one roll of 35 millimeter film. Don't forget to use your thermometer on both water and developer. In a separate mixing device and easy to differentiate, I have the same amount measured out for my fixer dilution. One part fixer to four parts water at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. My first step is optional, but recommended. I'm going to fill my tank with regular water at 68 degrees Fahrenheit and let it sit in there for one minute. This helps bring your film to the temperature of your chemistry. Now quickly grab your developer and pour it in the tank. Start your timer and agitate. Once the eight minutes are up, let's pour it out into a storage bottle since this developer can be used again. Next, quickly add 68 degree water to the tank, empty it, add water again, and agitate for 30 seconds to one minute. This water bath helps to stop the development process, but you can purchase your own stop bath chemistry if you need to rapidly stop development. But for our purposes, water will work just fine. Now let's add our fixer. I usually set a timer for about five minutes, but with the same agitation process as the developer. Once time is up, pour your fixer into a storage bottle 
And then we can open our lid and wash our film. Fill and empty your tank five times with 68 degree water from the faucet. It's really important to make sure all of the fixer is washed from your film. Now you are essentially ready to take your reel out. But there's one last final step before we dry out. Sometimes your film will dry with watermarks on it. And to avoid that, I use wetting solution. Add two drops of wetting agent to about 300 milliliters of water or the amount for your reel size and add to the tank and let it sit for about 30 seconds and pour out. Now we can remove the reel out of the tank and carefully remove the film out of the reel and attach two film clips to each end to carefully hang to dry. You should hang to fully dry for two or more hours in a dust-free location. I'm using the bathroom. One nap later. Wow, look at this. You developed your own film. Virtual high five. You can cut them into strips and place them in a sleeve like this for safekeeping. Are you wondering, now what? Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see how to get these onto a computer. I'm Maria, and thanks for watching.